What's up, superstars? This is a video response from my buddy Carl Topia, who's got 200 subs and he's doing a contest. And he wants to know what our favorite decade in baseball is. So I'm choosing the 1910s, which was considered the dead ball era. Uh, the game was all about speed and base running and pitching, and the pitchers were allowed to do just about anything they wanted to the ball. They uh, used the same ball throughout the whole game, typically, and it would get all brown and dirty and soften up, and it was very hard to hit. So there weren't a lot of home runs. It was all about base running. In 1910, my team, the Indians, were called the Naps after their best player, Napoleon Lajoie. I do not have any Lajue player era cards, but I will someday. So that would be like the LA Angels being called the LA Trouts, which would be kind of fun. Anyway, in 1909, this fella is Elmer Flick. He was a pretty good player. He was a Hall of Famer. The Detroit Tigers offered a 24-year-old Ty Cobb, who was considered pain in the butt, straight up for Elmer Flick, and the Indians said no. And then Elmer Flick retired after the 1910 season. And then we have Addie Joss. Addie was a fantastic pitcher. 1911, right before the season started, he had meningitis and he passed away. So that was pretty sad. This is one of my favorite cards ever. So Addy was such a good pitcher that they said that he might have been as good as Cy Young or Walter Johnson, but his career was rather short. Here is George Stovall. Now, George organized a one-day player's strike so that the players could go to Addy Joss's funeral uh, he was a pretty popular player, and he actually was their manager in 1911. He was also the first player to sign up for the Federal League. Here, after George Stovall, we have Joe Birmingham. Now, Joe Birmingham managed the Naps from 1912 to 1915, and that was the year that they became the Cleveland Indians. Here we have Neil Ball whose claim to fame was he had the first unassisted triple play in baseball history. And here we have Bob Rhodes. Now Bob Rhodes once won a game six to five where he gave up 23 hits. The Naps only had six hits. Here we have Ted Easterly, who was baseball's first pinch hit specialist. And George Perring is kind of a nice looking card there. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to tell you about what else was going on in baseball, not just in Cleveland. Um, Fenway Park and Wrigley Field were both built in the 1910s. The uh, New York Highlanders became the New York Yankees in 1915. The Star Spangled Banner was being played at baseball games well before it became the national anthem. And then, of course, in 1919, you have the Black Sox Sandal which was a black eye on baseball at the time, but it's such a great story. It actually adds to the character of baseball, I think. Anyway, Bill Bradley, just another nice looking card. 1918, the season was shortened due to an epidemic. That sounds familiar. But this fellow here, Stanley Kovaleski, um, was a 20 game winner for the Cleveland Indians. And he actually won 20 games from 1918 to 1921. And in the 1920 World Series, which was the first time my Cleveland Indians were in the World Series, he won three games, all complete games, and that was pretty awesome. And there's his autograph there. I actually have a couple of his autographs. And he's one of my favorite players that nobody's ever heard of. So there's Stanley Kowaleski. And then in the 20s, there was this guy named Babe Ruth, and he started hitting all these home runs, and baseball was ruined forever. So thanks a lot, Babe Ruth. All right, take it easy, guys. I'll talk to you later.